All right, the Yard Garden and Patio Show opens today, and Janice Bangs is down there for a preview. Hey, Janice. Hey, you guys, I am. And you know what? At the show this weekend, you're going to get real advice from real life experts. I have with me today Ahmed Hassan from DIY's Yard Crashers. Good morning, Ahmed. Good morning, Janice. Welcome to Oregon. Have you been here before? I have never been here before, and I'm loving it. And what are you, you know what, tell me a little bit about Yard Crashers. It is a hilarious show. I, it has great results, but it is a little bit funny. It started off, it was supposed to be a landscaping show. Mm -hmm. It's more of a personality show, a high energy show. It's a fun show. And oh yeah, we're doing landscaping. And what is the... The idea is you sort of ambush people while I don't they're sort of. I totally ambush people. <laughs> okay. I totally mess with people. I talk smack to people. I get them riled up. I'm trying to figure out who's out there, mm -hmm. who's interesting enough, fun loving enough, has a project for us to do, and hey, let's turn it into a great TV show. And what has been your is there ever a project that's too big for you? I doubt it really, but is there? <laughs> Yeah, when people say they have multiple acres, I'm like, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> and it's nice. Maybe you have a neighbor or something who has a smaller yard. But um, so far, the largest yard we've done on Yard Crashers was, I think it was 93 by 100. We did the whole space in two days. Oh, my gosh. So. And you're a homeowner. If someone were to ambush you, what area of your yard would you like to have redone? You know, that would be different for me because I'm a control freak. You know, and there's some people that are just like me. They don't want anyone to come in there and do their space. They're like, uh -huh. no, I'm going to do it myself. Now, as a, as a professional contractor, which I am, I listen to people. I mm -hmm. make sure that the space that we're creating makes sense for them because I really want them to love it, and I really want all that great energy on TV. But for me, I don't know. I, I don't know <laughs> if I would let somebody else do my own yard crash. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes people are like, no, that's all right. And everybody else thinks they're crazy, but yeah, uh, how it yeah. is. There's no, I, there's no way I would say no. Um, and what are you going to be showing people down here at the show this weekend, starting today? It's, you know, my onstage personal appearances give me a break from having to actually do all the mundane labor. I uh -huh. mean, wonderful landscaping <laughs> work for folks. Um, so I'll be sharing with people a little bit about my story, how I became this landscaper, how landscaping mm -hmm. turned into television. And, you know, it's, it's really address the needs and wants of the crowd. We get into everything. I, I hold, I pull no punches. Okay. And we just, we just get into it. It's all landscaping centered. I okay. mess with people. We talk about their yards. We answer questions. I'm gonna have other pros like Brian. I was just gonna say, and we have Ahmed is not the only expert here. Oh, I no. have Brian Bauman with me from Bauman Farms. And Brian, what are some of the? I saw the beautiful seven gardens of the world. Can you tell me about that? This year, the gardens, the landscapers have really gone above and beyond. It's one of the best gardens I've ever seen. So um, I know it's kind of dreary outside right now, but by coming to the convention center this weekend, you're going to be blown away. It's absolutely magical. And can you tell me about some of the seven gardens? So we really try to take some of the iconic images from around the world and transport them here to Oregon this mm -hmm. weekend. So we've got a Spanish-themed garden. We've got Sultan's Paradise. We have a Chinese and Japanese garden. So really, it allows you to escape to the seven areas of the world it's it's really quite magical and you not only have all the gardens but you have all the stuff that people might want to place in their gardens and you actually brought some stuff from your own uh, sh show booth and these are beautiful tell me about these yes we were talking earlier and we we're talking about how much Helen loves color so yeah. we had to grab some color these are actually some new items that I've purchased this year and brought to the show these are actually um, solar powered mm -hmm. so you can place them out in your garden they're hand-blown glass and then at nighttime they'll light up for about five to six hours Oh my gosh, I, that's probably so beautiful. And what about these metal ones on the table here in front of us? One of the great areas of the show that we have the past couple years, and every year it keeps expanding, is with the Crackpots, which is a local group of artists that use recycled materials. So we have about 20 different artists here that have used all kinds of recycled material from old diesel engines to forks and knives and everything you can think of that you may throw away, they've transformed into great works of art. So you've got it all down here at the show, including seminars, and the show opens today, is that correct? It opens at 10 o'clock today, so hurry on down here. It's going to be a wonderful day with things for you to see, for things for you to buy. Uh, it's just going to be a good time. Thank you so much, Brian, and thank you, Ahmed. I'm sure people will look forward to seeing both of you down here at the Yard Garden and Patio Show here at the Oregon Convention Center.